I wanted I wanted to get the freaking serving outfit for fucking velvet. Did check that out. What can I put on the rest of you? Ah, didn't even think about this. Oh, you get the corsage. Ugh, having too much fun. Yes, um... Yes. Yes. Need to get some new clothes for you, Rook Row. Uh, yes. Um, yes. Um, have any other outfits for you? Yeah, we're gonna do just like that. It's so much. All right. So, somebody means to ambush the Royal Medical Society on the Danan Highway. The Royal Medical Society is a group of doctors that travel around healing the sick. They're funded by donations given by ordinary folk. Hmm. Why would anyone attack them? Don't ask me. Some people are just twisted. Very true. Why would an underworld group defend them? Who knows? Something to do with the attackers, perhaps? Just because they're underworld doesn't mean they're, like, evil. I mean, it's fucking doctors running around healing people. I mean, I could probably get up to some pretty shady shit, but I'd still take those people down. That ceremony was simply fantastic. Lord Artorius's speech was brilliant, of course, but Prince Percival was really something, too. He mm -hmm. raises up Artorius to help the country and its people, then willingly steps down. Now that's what I call a king. You think so? Well, to me, he just looks like a wimp. He may look that way, but he has a great inner strength. He's excelled as a scholar and a leader since he was young. His only hobby is falconry, but sadly, I hear he hasn't had the time for it lately. You seem like a big supporter of his. Well, he's got two younger brothers, but just between you and me, they're dolts. Worse, they hang with a bad crowd. If anything were to happen to Prince Percival, the future of Midgand would be bleak. So what you're saying is... So everyone's hopes are riding on him then. Which means Midgand's vulnerable without him. What you're saying is... This group I'm about to run into and fight... Are going to be led by the two younger brothers. Got it. It's over here. Derp. Derpin. He may be the shepherd now, but no one knows who he was before the advent, or what he did. No, they don't. But he showed up one day with a malak in tow, routed the demons, and formed a band of skilled young exorcists. That sounds pretty suspicious. Yeah. Right? But the kingdom readily acknowledged his abilities and his conviction, and threw its full support behind him. Maybe he plans on usurping power for himself. Not likely. He's worked tirelessly to rebuild the church and state. And to shore up the royal family's position. Lining his pockets from the state coffers, then. Not the slightest chance. Rather, he's got all the other higher-ups worried he's working himself to death. Then what's he after? Hmm. Maybe there is no ulterior motive. Oh, there's always an ulterior motive. Shepherd. Whatever the case, if he hadn't shown up when he did three years ago, Midgand would be a smoking ruin. Thing that you're not considering is... What if what he wants doesn't have to do with people? A hard woman. She knew about me and our cover. She's got ears everywhere. And that's not all. She called the papers fake, but they're not. So she's got spies working on the inside, too. I heard that her predecessor, Baskerville, was a monument against authority. To think he was executed. They've lost their leader, but remain unconquered. Not an organization to trifle with. 
That's how they have to be to take on the Abbey. Yeah. We'd better succeed on our missions, and not just to get the information we need. Yeah. Besides, I'd like to get another of those drinks, too. You're a man of taste. That place always has the best. Uh, Dude. You'd better work hard, too, if you want more Mabo curry. I will. Little man is hungry. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> that he, he, I mean, like he keeps the other eye closed, but I imagine there's an eye in there somewhere. We'll just run with it. Greetings, Magilu's Menagerie. You so, come to exactly the right place. You must be a Bloodwing. What do you want? You already know about the Code Red demons, right? The really strong demons the Abbey wants gone? Yeah. Would you ever consider hunting them down for us? We'll yeah. reward you properly. Reward? Why pay us when the Abbey would do it for free? It's complicated. The Abbey is calculating in their deployments, especially where Code Red demons are concerned. I get it. They'll only act if they determine the demon would cause more harm than the losses they'd incur in battling it. That does seem logical. But sometimes, people have lost a loved one to such a demon. Or sometimes, they have a connection to the person the demon used to be. Wherever there's a code red demon, you can bet there are people willing to pay good money to have it killed. <sighs> and let me guess, that's where the blood wings come in. Exactly. There are blood wings all throughout Midgant who have an If you defeat a demon and report back to my comrades, they'll make sure you're well compensated. All right, I understand. But I won't make any promises. That's fine. No sense in drawing up a contract when the hunter probably won't survive anyway. If you get results, let us know. We'll hold up our end. That being said, I'd feel guilty if I didn't help out at least a little, so... Here, take this. Those blood wings are definitely a rough crowd. To be fair, things are never that straightforward when you're dealing with demons. All that matters is that there's something in it for us if we hunt those code red demons. The only thing better than fighting formidable foes is getting paid for it. Just remember that these Code Red demons He's are so anime. to make the Abbey shiver. We'd be wise not to underestimate them. We should talk He's to so anime. before considering any of the marks. They might have information that will help us prepare. Yeah, and we better remember to upgrade our equipment. Right. Sweet. Okay. Hey, Laffy said. What is it, Rokuro? Mabo Curry. Huh? <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're an interesting one. You like Mabo Curry that much, huh? It smells good. And it's creamy and kind of spicy. Eating it made me feel nice. I'd say you love it then. Do all Malakim have such an appetite? Each has their own tastes. Some eat a lot, some eat a little. Just like humans or demons. What do you like, Aizen? Drinks, I suppose. What else? Uh, pretty much just drinks. Don't you like anything else? Is it a problem if I don't? No, I'm just wondering. For me, it's drinks and candied sweet potatoes. That's where you boil strips of sweet potato in oil and then coat them in sugar. Right? Yeah, I never get tired of them. So you <laughs> like to drink, but you've also got a sweet tooth? Hell yeah. yeah. Is that so strange? <laughs> no. Candied sweet potatoes. Sounds good. Uh. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just a sign that you're alive, remember? Right. Okay. But game. Seriously, though. Where the hell am I going? Uh, library? Code Red Monster Hunts. I think. 
Tell me where these fuckers are so I can go kill them. Okay, well, I'm not gonna tell me where it is. Let's cook. Food's ready. It's nothing special. So angsty. Which button was that? Uh, cool. Dope. All right, I actually know where to go now. Awesome. Let's do this. Don't waste my time. You won't get any pity or compassion. Totally just dropped my controller for no reason. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh god. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I got dizzied! Ow! Fucker! Stop it! Gotcha! Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Wanna fight? Alright. I can't even call that a fight. <laughs> oh. I love my custom characters already. Is this the right way? Yeah, okay. Regular food like a normal person. Fucking asshole. So the attackers were demons. I guess that's why they needed us to stop the attack. The doctors? Looks like they ran off. Eh, I saw dead bodies. It appears they were after this stuff. Medicine with the cathedral seal. What's up, Laffy? Scarf. Did that belong to the attackers? Yeah. All three were wearing them. Does it mean something? They were just humans. Aggressive ones who attack the innocent. 